Arcade Perfect, my arse. Evening folks, I have absolutely no idea what's going on with this. Why? You know the bizarre thing? Um, yeah, when I'm doing the video, it's not actually playing. I can hear the sound, but for some... So what can you see? Can you actually see the main Meister picture? Or are you just getting the sound? That's weird. I think uh, I'm going to have to uh, get Dale Boy on the channel and see what's going on. No idea, because with this stream yard, you literally just add the video and uh, away it goes. So I've absolutely no idea why it's doing that. Then it doesn't matter as long as uh, that, that's weird. Hmm. I, I mean, how can how can a website be broken? I've got no idea. Anyway, it doesn't matter, right? Listen, apologies about the late uh, the lateness of this video. There's three reasons I'm doing this tonight. One, because um, I, I like to try and get out at least like three videos during the week, and uh, I'm conscious that I need to get one out tonight. Uh, hence the reason I'm doing it. Two, I've been putting off doing this one for quite a long time. Um, I did like Bubble Bobble back in the day. I liked it in the Atari ST. There are so there are something. I'm just looking at Wikipedia, and I think there are two thousand nine hundred and twenty six different versions of this game, um, different systems. I'm going to look at about 10. Now, I don't want anyone greeting about, oh, you missed this one, or you didn't do this version, blah, blah, blah. If I don't have it, I'm not going to play it. So just keep your comments to yourself. Um, <clears throat> so just before I start, um, what have I got? I've got, right, let me have a quick look at, uh, oh, bollocks, did I close that down? Just give me a second. Right, I'm looking at what I tend to do when I do these uh, Arcade Perfect My RCs. I look at the, I just look at Wikipedia because it's accurate, as we all know. I've got Arcade, we've got Amiga, we've got Apple II, we've got Atari ST, we've got Commodore 64, we've got Spectrum, we've got Amstrad, we've got Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Is that a different version? Well, I'll have a look. Game Boy Color. Uh, Game Gear, that's going to be the same as the other one. Nintendo NES, yep, got that one. PlayStation, I'm not going to play it in the PlayStation because it will be arcade perfect. It will be the arcade when you're playing. Sega Master System, Sega Saturn, not going to play that one either. And uh, the, the Sharp X68000, so that made that kind of pretty much all of them. Now, I know for a fact that most of these are pretty accurate. So I thought what I'm going to do is try, rather than me try and compare them, after we play a version, I've, uh, I've come up with uh, one, two, three, four, five, five categories, and I'm going to use my Excel skills here and just do uh, equal sum, and I'm going to add all these together like that. There we go. Um, yeah, I've come up with... Uh, I've come up with graphics, sound, playability, speed, in other words, is it too slow, is it too fast, whatever, and lightness to arcade. And I'm going to score them. Uh, was there a. Ah, there is a. Is there, well, that's weird. Why didn't they mention the Atari 2600? Is there one for the Atari 2600, dogs? Uh, right, okay, well, we'll go for that one. I don't know. Has Intellivision got it? Has Coleco? I don't think the ColecoVision's got it. Yeah, so that's uh, <coughs> excuse me, that's the five categories that I've got, and then uh, yeah, I'll just I'll rate them in that, and then uh, we'll just do a wee tally up at the end and see what is best. So uh, yeah, there was another reason I did this video tonight. Yeah, I, I'm not. I played it. I did play it, you know, in the Atari ST uh, back in the day, but. I'm not, it's not a game I've, I've really gone back to um, through emulation at all. I don't know. I think it's a two-player game. It's not really a game for me playing as one. And I've always been, I've been putting off, I've got a list of, uh, I've got a list of about 10 games that I want to do Arcade Perfects uh, for. And this is one of them. And I keep putting off and keep putting off and thinking, I can't be asked recording it. So I thought, let's just do it live and get the bloody thing out the road. I want to try and keep this to an hour. We'll see how we get on with it. 
Right, anyway, you can tell I'm, I'm infused about this video. <laughs> Excuse me a second. A quick, uh, wait a minute, who's disappearing? Yeah, uh, listen, Paul, um, I'll, uh, I've got I've got game base version 17 um, zipped up. I'll get that uploaded and I'll get that across to you and then I'll just do a series of other 8-bit uh, versions for you. So, don't say I'm not good to you. Uh, right. That's annoying me. I don't know why... Uh, I don't know why uh, it's it's not playing the sound. That's weird. It's just a... It's just a, a, it's just a bloody uh, website. No idea. Right, anyway. Let's get this fucking thing put to bed. Bubble bobble. Right, let's have a quick look and see what it says. Uh, and I've closed down Wikipedia. Let's do a quick... In fact, you know what? I think Meme actually tells you. I'm sure Meme tells you all about it. Uh, where is it? There we go. Right, I better share this stuff with you. I'm going to move you over there. And then I'm going to do share screen. There we go. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this I know Panther keeps saying I need to uh, I need to use whatever it is OBS, but I'm uh, I'm just too lazy. Right. Oh, I don't want to do that. Hide that, and then I want to go like that, and then I want to go like 150 percent. Is that too big? Uh, right, that'll do. I'll hopefully let you see everything right. I can come out of that, and I can come out of that. There we go. Right, okay. Uh, bubble Bobble. It's not my favourite uh, It's not my favorite game ever in the world. Bubble Bobble, right? what does it tell us about it? I think it does tell you some stuff. Uh, if I can figure out how to work this. Game logo info. There we go. Wait, what's it going to tell us? Absolutely bugger all. <laughs> right, Bubble Bobble came out. It was released in 1986 by Tato. There you go. There's a uh, the quintessential uh, history of Bubble Bobble. Yeah, I'm the same as you, Ox. I'm not. I'm not a fan of it, but you know what? I can't just do games that I like. But don't even ask for a certain uh, sequel to this game because it's not happening. What? Why is that saying that? I've no idea why it said that. Right there, we go. Let me make that smaller. Right there, we go. Can you see that? Right. Right, hang on, I need to just get the. Hopefully the sounds. Hopefully the sound isn't too. Uh, isn't too loud. Right. Okay. Uh, that needs to go even louder. I think. Let's have a quick look. And put this machine. Uh, 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 start. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's that. Start. I think we'll play two levels of each version, and that'll be enough. Yeah, there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this game. I'm... I don't know. Well, oh, McDonald's chips, I actually had some of them earlier on. I don't know what it is about it, I think, is it too cute? I don't know, I mean, I like, I like uh, Rodland, which is a cute game. Um... I don't know, I just think it's a game. It's a game you really need to play two player, I think. That's just my opinion. Oh, get that, whatever it is, a fish. Have some of that. You know, I mean, it's, you could probably say it's one of the 
it's a most perfect arcade game. It's fun to play. It's got nice graphics. It's very playable. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably an age thing, actually. Oh, look at the skills of that man, bloody hell. Oh, shit. Oh, arse biscuits. No, it's no... Well, um, then again, Kung Fu Master, eh, I'm not a... a I do like Kung Fu Master, but I'm shit at it. We can't all be bloody ninjas like uh, a certain Mr. and Moz. Oh, bollocks. How many levels are there? Is it 150 or something? Or am I talking at a hole in my backside? I can't remember. Right, we'll play one more. I am, I, you know what, Del? I am a grumpy old sod. And I can't help it. And I don't really care. Right, I always like this, but... Oh, bugger. When you kind of surf in the water. Maybe playing this, uh, doing this video might actually revitalise the, the spark and I'll start playing it again. But 100 levels, Slime and Wolf, trust me, we're not going to play 100 levels, right? That's the arcade. Uh, <clears throat> where's my, where's my uh, funky spreadsheet going? There, it's there. there. You go over there, like so, and then I can close that Facebook thing down. That goes there. Right, I'm just going to do these in... Uh, I'm going to do these in, what you call it, the order of which I've actually uh, thing with them in. Hang on, just move that over there. There we go. Right, close him down. Like I said, if I don't have a particular version, then I'm not going to play it, obviously. Right, the only problem with making this 150%. This is huge. Oh shit, there's a spoiler for my next video. Uh, yeah, right. So, the first one I'm going to look at is on everybody's favourite computer, the Commodore 64. Bubble, 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 bubble. There we are. Right, this was converted in uh, 1980. That's strange, Vinny. You've seen the uh, comments to, before I actually speak. That is very, very odd. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on with that StreamYard thing. That is bizarre. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was it was actually my good self that... Uh, that, that uh, Put uh, Sean Southern in uh, in touch with Retro Gamer, uh, Retro Gamer, uh, the Retro Hour podcast. I think I was the first person to kind of get an interview with uh, with Sean. I'm actually hoping, I'm hoping to get him down to play Blackpool again uh, this year because he's a he's a great guy. Anyway, enough of my rambles. Right, this was released in 1987 uh, by Firebird. Right, let's go. Neil, it's, you know what, it's kind of up to me to try and uh, get guests. I mean, the play event themselves are trying to get a couple of people. I don't want to say anything at the moment because obviously it's all still up in the air just now. I've managed to get one person confirmed, um, but yeah, I, I better not say anything at the moment until, until we actually... Uh, Until we actually, would you call it, get a kind of, you know, a, what do you call it, a definite lineup. 
But aye, Sean, I would love to get Sean back down. He's a he's a great guy. They might not want him because he's already been down there, but uh, I think he's he's a really a spoke. Hey, come on, come on. Right, nice uh, loading screen. So what one of you guys, what one? Technically, it might be more than one. Are you a few of you guys going down to play Blackpool? It would be good to, uh, if you do go down and you see me, come up and say hello, please. For me, it's all about the uh, meeting people, right? Hang on. Uh, how do we move down? There we go. Start level. Use cursor up, return. Oh, oh for Christ's sake. A minute, can we? Alex, oh, can we not type in? Right, I'm going to have to use my uh, vibrating finger to get that. You know what's going to happen here? It's going to get to 99 and it's not going to go back. <laughs> Told you. Oh, for Christ's sake, right. We're going to have to load this bloody thing again. Uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to drive down. I'm going to drive down on Saturday morning, uh, and then yeah, I'll. Uh, all the talks are on Saturday. Cheers, Simon. All the talks are on Saturday, and then uh, I was going to say yeah, and then uh, on the Sunday, I'll be going back just to Kenny play some games and catch up with people. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll probably leave. I don't know, I'll probably leave about can he, four o'clock, something like that, to come back up the road. Right, we need to make sure we don't uh, put it on a level 100 again. Well, we've been playing for, what well, we've been doing this for 22 minutes and we've not even looked at one yet. Christ. Right, uh, re return, uh, how, do you, how do you shift return, how do you start this? Right, okay. Right, so firstly, well, let's just start the game first. Right, firstly, music is really good, which you would expect. Graphics are really good, bollocks. Um, yeah, graphics are, well, like, we'll, we'll rate it once we've played it, we'll play two levels. Yeah, as much as I'm not a massive fan of this, this is really, really impressive. One more, I think, and then we'll crack on. Okay, listen, we need to, uh... <laughs> for Christ's sake, uh, Neil, don't mention that to Lee, because my girlfriend Lee's coming down with me, um, she wants to come down, but I think she's going to disappear, she's going to uh, just walk about Blackpool, but uh, yeah, don't tell her about the Norbreck, I did kind of mention it's legendary. 
for all the wrong reasons. Right, let's see. Okay, graphics. I thought the graphics were bloody good. Um, I'm going to go for eight. Sound is excellent. I'm going to go for ten. Playability is absolutely spot on. It's tiny bit slow, so I'm going to go for nine. The speed, I would say seven because it is a wee bit slow. Lightness to arcade, I think I'm going to go for an eight and a half. Yeah, okay, eight and a half. Right, next one. But you know what? Let's just work our way down here. Amstrad. <clears throat> yeah. Oh man, you're really, you're really, uh, you're really uh, getting me scared now, uh, Neil. God, is it really that bad? <laughs> yeah. Right. Anyway, bubble bobble. <clears throat> You want to continue on the game, yeah. Party normal, we. Oui. The nor <laughs> the Norbreak bed bugs. Right. Ah, it says there one is seventy nine, so that's only got seventy nine levels. So see, that's going to. Uh, Evening, Trev, how are you, me mucker? That's going to take it down a notch. Lovely, uh, lovely screen. Right, okay, hip fire. One, one, right, joystick isn't working, that's a pain in us. Right, I'm having to use the keys. It doesn't impress me one little bit. How do we? How do you move? Perhaps a keys, nope. Let me just. Maybe a minute. Let's see if there's a manual. Yeah, there's a manual, folks. Let's have a quick look. Uh, Amstrad. She says joystick. O P Q O P Q space. Right, we'll give that a go. Let me try again. Uh, can you do art? You need to find keys. Can you do it up? Right, well, what I'll do is I'll do a... Oh, for Christ's sake, wait a minute. Right, you want to redefine keys again. Oh, to redefine keys. Up. Oh, no, wait a minute. I'm still making a complete pixie to this. Oh, to redefine keys. Come on. Oh, to redefine keys. Right, that's going to be... Up, left, right, fire. Okay, so Y, G, right. Let's give it a go. Right. <clears throat> hmm. Lacking music. Now, if I've missed something and there's a button to turn the music on, then I'll apologise now, but I'm not going to piss about with instructions or what have you. Hey, there's not as much animation. Right. 
one thing it does have over the C6 F4 one is the speed. I would say this is a wee bit more uh, faithful to the arcade one. And there's not any kind of animation when the bubbles are moving, there's no real... Yeah, as Steve says, it does lose quite a bit about the music, right, we'll play one more level. In fact, I've even got to level 3 using keys is uh, quite a mean feat, I have to say. Right, okay, right, I'll let that run. I'm going to score it. Right, Amstrad graphics. I mean, they're still good. Don't get me wrong, the graphics are still good. I'm going to go for a six. Sound is, I mean, there's no music. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to, no, nah, I'm just going to keep sound. I was going to do music and sound, but I'll just leave it as class as sound. Uh, sound I'm going to go for a 2 because it's, there's virtually bugger all sound effects and there's no music playability I'm going to have to go for a 9, there's nothing wrong with it speed, I'm going to go for an 8 lightness to arcade uh, I think 6.5 yeah, that's just about right okay uh, yeah, the Amstrad's got a lovely palette, Trev. It's a pity they don't use it in a lot of games. Right, have I just closed down game base? No, I haven't. Right, that was that. The next one is going to be Apple 2. Let's see if I've got this. Uh, bubble. Oh, there we go. Bubble, bubble. Now, for some weird reason, the Apple is always really, 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 really loud. All right, flip a disc. How do I flip a disc? I have no idea. How do I flip a disc? Oh, is that it? Flip disc, press key. Flip disc. Hey, hey, right, you know what, I am not. I don't know how to flip a disc in this, this infernal thing, I thought that might do it, I'll tell you what, just let, let me just go to, uh, let me just two seconds and see if we can figure it out, emulation, game base, Apple II Mania, games, B, all images wise, I know why did I come up with nothing? Right, bubble bobble. Uh, so, obviously, the fact that I'm doing this uh, live, it's obviously not as slick as the usual videos that I put out. Quiet at the back. <laughs> bubble bobble, there we go, right. Right. You know what, sorry, I'm not going to, uh, what we're going to have to do is just look at the graphics. Yeah. Not very nice. Pretty basic. When did it come out? 1988? Yeah. Uh... Right, I think we're going to have to... I think we're going to have to leave that one out because we can't, we can't really, uh, we can't possibly rate it when we can't even look at it. Anyway, right, let's move on, right, we're going to have to knock, take the Apple II one out, you can disappear, son, there we go, right, next one, Archimedes Atari 2600, no, that wasn't even, according to Wikipedia, it doesn't even say it existed. Ah, oh, wait a minute, now I've... Did it come out for the 2600? 
It's not appearing now. I think this is a list of, I think it's American games. So I'm not seeing Bubble Bobble here, folks. No. No, I'm guessing. Again, I don't have it, folks. If I don't have it, I can't play it. Tell you what, let me. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to uh, waste any more time. It's not going up in this thing. So <laughs> there's uh, absolutely uh, there's no worries about that, Vinny. You'll miss absolutely bugger all. There was talk of a twenty six hundred. Ah, right. Okay, so uh, right. I've, I'm assuming these are just official games. So right, we have to move on from that. Right, the list is getting ever so small. Thank you very much, Trev. I know you're a lying bastard as well, mate. But uh, anyway, yeah, you might watch my channel, but being having slick videos is certainly not one of them. Right. Well, at this rate, it's going to be between the Commodore 64 and the, Am the Amiga. Right, Atari. I don't think it came out for the Atari 100. It's possible there's a... Nah, didn't come out for the Atari 800. Uh, right, what's next? <clears throat> it didn't come out in the BBC either. Right, Atari ST. Now, this was, the, this was basically the version that I played back in the day. I did actually buy this game. <laughs> the Vic 21, yeah, if only. Right, what's it doing? What is loading, I think? Right, we'll just go for infinite lives. Right, that looks to me like a, a scan. A scan of the cover, I think. There we go. Now, for a, an Atari ST, that is, that is impressive. Let's see if we can make this a wee bit bigger. A wee bit bigger still. There we are. I don't even know if that's meaning any bigger or not. Right, one. Please work joystick. And it's not working, right? Wait a minute. <laughs> She's in the mouse, right? ADF. Well. Ah, oh, that's making it full screen. Oh, there you go. Right, joysticks. Use real joystick. And it's going to be. There we go, back to main menu. Okay. Right, excellent. Now this is, as I remember it, really impressive. I mean, I'd never played the arcade. Uh, this was the version, this was the very, very first version that I played. Graphics, as you would expect, are really good. Oh, where did he come from? Oh, 10,000 points. Ass. One more. Trevor 
Faith, are you going to uh, Black Coalition, mate? Oh, should I, I'll rephrase that. Are you going to uh, play Black Cool? Yeah, yeah, Dale, you cheeky bastard. That warble sound in the background is awful. <laughs> I don't know why I've got on me, I really don't. They're feeding the bloody ass. Most of the time, at least. Right, anyway, yeah, that's the Atari ST one. Um, I'm going to have to come out of that. Can't quit. There we go. Right, that is impressive. That really is. Graphics, it's got to be... I'm not going to give it a 10. I think it's... Uh, we'll give it a 9. We'll give it a 9. I think there was some slight bits of animation not quite there. Sound... I thought it was really good. I'm going to give that a 10. Give the Commodore 6 to 4 a 10s. I think we have to give the, that the 10 as well. I think that is just as good. Some people may prefer the, the Sid version, but I think that is that is really like the arcade. Playability, it's 9. Speed, it's I would say it's almost perfect. I'm going to go for a 9. Lightness to arcade, that's going to be a 9. Can't argue with that. Right, that was... Uh, oh, right, sorry, Dale, I thought you were talking about me uh, warbling in the background. <laughs> that, that's actually understandable. Right, anyway, where are we? It's ten past ten and I've got bed. Um, okay, right. ColecoVision Game, Game Boy. Right, Game Boy. Bubble bobble, there we are. Oh, wait a minute, is that the... That's loaded the... Uh... Hang on, what's going on? Right, I wonder if this is the Game Boy one. Yeah, there we go. Nice sound. I don't remember that little cutscene. Right, it's, uh, yeah, you can see there it's using, it's scrolling, obviously because of the size of the screen. Bit of flickering going on there. And it's, obviously, it's not, or is it faithful to the arcade? I don't remember seeing that go, but... One thing that I like about this version, it's got the, uh, it's got the two buttons. One for jump, and one for blowing bubbles. Yeah, you'll see there when you shoot a bubble, there is a bit of animation in it, which I think the ST in that. Um... Cheers, Winnie. Take care, son. I mean, it plays. It's snappy enough, you know. It's it's responsive. Oh, arse. Yeah, when you shoot a body, it kind of, uh, the sprite detection, I wouldn't say it's iffy, but it kind of, it, it changes into a bubble, even before the kind of, the, the bubbles hit them, if that makes any sense. Right, anyway, that's enough of that. Um, let's have a look. Game Boy. Graphics. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the graphics. Obviously, it's not going to be colour. Um, I think, they actually look really good. 
but they are black and white, or grey and white, I should say. Uh, I think we'll go for a seven, because the graphics are pretty good, but it does lose a few points for the thing. But sound is pretty good. I think that's a six and a half. Can't, I can't decide whether it's a six or a seven, so we'll go for a six and a half. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I die, you know what? I'm going to go for a seven. Playability. It's it's not as playable as the rest, I don't think, because of the big screen. So I think it's going to be a seven. Speed, fine. Absolutely fine. It's going to be an eight. Lightness to arcades. Nee. Uh, it's not a five, I think. Six. Yeah, go for a six, I think. Maybe a minute. I forgot to uh, add up my. Uh... In fact, nah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to actually look at the title. I'm not going to look at the uh, the scores at the moment. So, right, that was a Game Boy one. Now, I think there was a Game Boy Color. I don't know if this is going to be the same. Right, now it looks like it's different. Oh, was that me or was that? What the hell? Was that out of tune? <sighs> right, they've done this annoying thing that a lot of consoles do. They try and take the original and they try and tart it up. Uh, it doesn't need backgrounds like that. Yeah, you could say it's more impressive, but it really doesn't need that. I mean, it's got the music. Kitty, I don't know how many channels it's got. Bit of flickering going on. Again, for a, I mean, for a, a, a portable version, it's still bloody good. I can't remember what his name is. Yeah, so the, the level layout and the body layout in this is different. I think, the, I think maybe the level layout's the same, but that purple thing, he wasn't in the, the arcade level at this point. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. It's still a fun game to play. It's just not very, uh, very faithful. Right, okay, I think that's enough of that. So that's the Game Boy Color. Graphics, yeah, I'm going to go with the same. Well, I I'll give it a seven and a half because I gave the Game Boy seven. Sound isn't as good, I don't think. That's going to be yeah, four, I think. Playability, it's all right. It's, again, the scroll, I'm going to stick with seven. Speed, nothing wrong with that. It's going to be an eight. Lightness to arcades, yeah, I'm going to scroll, I'm going to actually think of that one less than the Game Boy one. I don't like the fact that they've got the background graphics, I don't know what that's, what's going on there. I'm going to go for a five and a half, I think, for lightness to arcades. So that was the Game Boy Color. Uh, right, next, how many have we got? Uh, we've done about half of them, thank God. <clears throat> Don't think the Tari 7800. No, that definitely didn't have bubble bubble, did it? No, it didn't. Um, links and television, that right. Master System apparently had it. Bubble, there we are, bubble bubble. This came out in 1991, so this was quite a bit later. Right, I'm not going to try and make this any bigger because it'll end up 
messing up the screen. Right, why is that doing that? <laughs> I don't know why that's moving up and down like that. Go on. How do you start? I don't know what's going on. Hang on. Uh, I'm going to have to piss about with a bloody... Uh, <clears throat> Config controllers, right, port one, uh, master system, right, define up, down, left, right, button one to start, right, see if that makes any difference. Right, why is that not doing anything now? Oh, for Christ's sake, why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Evening, Steve. How are you, buddy? Right, I have no idea why it's why it keeps doing that. That's a pain in the arse. Right, set config. Uh, I'm going to put that to empty. What is that? Control pad. Uh, right, that doesn't matter because I've put that to zero. Right, define up, down, left, right. Button one, button two, start. Ah, apply. I didn't hit apply, did I? Now it's not working. All right, I think we're going now, is it? Now he's got some nice plinky plonky music. Even man moments. Oh, item condition, what are you talking about? Even Shinobi. Oh, bollocks. By the way, I will, uh, I will return with the Watch With Main Meister. I've just kind of got a bit bored of them, to be honest with you. I don't know what you guys think. Are you enjoying them? I think all these uh, micro-lives just uh, was enough. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see that return. I think doing it once a week is probably, probably slightly more. You know, I would love to get uh, Kevin Tom's back in, but I think he loves it. And I don't know where he lives, he doesn't live in the UK anyway. Nothing wrong with this. Plays fine, the graphics are pretty good, uh, sounds alright. Yeah, there's a bit of uh, sprite flicker going on, but that's just to do with the hardware. Right, do one more, I think. And then we'll move on. Well, where's my favourite power up or whatever it's called? The water. Oof. Hey! <laughs> That's excellent. Pink, there we go. Right, okay, that's the master system. Graphics. I don't think there's much wrong with that. I think the graphics are actually... I mean, there is a bit of sprite flicker, so I think we're going to go for... I think we're going to go for seven and a half. Sound isn't the best. It's going to be... A five and a half, I think. Uh, playability is a nine, absolutely. Speed... It's 
going to be a 9, I think. Evening Steve, uh, likeness to Arcade. Yeah, you know what, I think that's, I think that's up there, I'm going to go for an 8.5. Nothing wrong with that. Right, you be quiet. Right, next version, folks, is... Well, let's have a look and see what we've got game base wise. Uh, didn't come out in the Mega Drive, don't know why. Right, NES, let's have a look at that. You know, in Nintendo, they always like to add bits instead of just having a faithful. Right, that's just. Uh... Oh, bloody hell. Hang on, I hope you're still there. It's gone huge video. Right, what we need to do. Enter full screen when game is loaded. No, we don't want that. Uh, right, hang on. It's, it's going a bit haywire. Come on, where the hell is it? I'm going to close it. I'm going to run it again. It'll probably play up once again. Where the hell is it getting the game going? Oh, yeah, it appears to have disappeared. <laughs> I, I absolutely detest PCs sometimes. It just... It's probably more to do with emulation. Right, come on, where is it? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is it going? It's not letting me actually see the screen. Right, what I'm going to have to do... Right, where have you gone? It's closed. It keeps closing my bloody StreamYard thing down. What I'm going to have to do is see if there's another emulator. Right, that's still working. Right, what I'm going to do here as I'm going to put the display settings back to normal and see if uh, see if that works. Right, try again. Right, it's you can probably hear it, but for whatever reason. You can't see the damn thing. Right, you know what? We're going to have to not play it. Yeah, it's never a, it's never a alt plus tab. I'll give that a go. In fact, I just tried that. That's pressing it there. I don't know. I detest, I absolutely detest, uh, I'll tell you what, let me just try one last thing before we abandon the NES version. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and find uh, emulator NES. Uh, I'm wondering why it's dark and I'm looking at the time, it's bloody half past ten. Oh, right, NES, 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 there we are, emulators, I wonder if I get ready to config, I'll tell you what, rather than delete it, if I just put XXX, there we go, yeah, we want to change that, now we'll try and see if this, right, Excellent. How good am I? Right, okay. Right, that'll do. Now what we want to do is we want to open a ROM. So we need to go to NES Games. Uh, bubble, 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 bubble. Hey, there we go. I am officially an IT guru. Right, what we're going to have to do is configure the, the damned uh, input. 
Now you can figure up, close down, close left, close right, close, select that, start that, oh bollocks, start, I'm gonna clear, clear, start that, close, B can be that, and close, and then A can be that, close, there we go, uh, right, close, hopefully this is going to work, Okay, I've made an arse of the, I've made an arse of the buttons, but not to worry. Nothing wrong with this. It's not got quite the same colour palette, I don't think. <coughs> And it doesn't seem to have the the flickering of the master system. Well, it does a wee bit when there's a lot on screen, but in the main, it's not too bad. Yeah, the music's all right. Uh, it's just it's it's not got the same kind of punchy sort of soundtrack. I'm trying not to be influenced by your guys, you guys' comments, but uh, yeah. Arse. Right. Anyway, there we go. Um, that was the NES. Where did my uh, spreadsheet go? Yeah, it's there. Right, NES graphics. He, I would go for six, I think. Yeah, six. It's not got the, the same kind of colour palette. Sound is a bit meh, so I think that's a, I think that's probably a five and a half. Oops, five and a half. Playability, nine. I'm not going to, it's not unplayable. Uh, speed, yeah, it's nine. I'm not going to give it a ten. Lightness to arcade, it's probably a six, I think. Ah, you're right, Trevor. Actually, you know what? Yeah, the the arcade does have a sort of three D. Yeah, I never, I never really, I never really caught and on to that actually. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Right, okay, we've got one, two, three versions to go. Well, that's assuming I've got them right. Next up is the rubber door stop. <clears throat> Here it is there. Right, bubble, bobble. Oh, it likes that. Okay. Right, let's go for Kempston and is it fire to start? No, oh, choose control for player two. Oh, that's fine. Oh, we don't want to do that. We're not playing a two player game. Yes. Mike Fallen, is he in relation to Tim, do you think? <laughs> that poor bloody uh, dinosaur looks traumatised, look at his eyes. Right, I need to turn the sound up because I'm not hearing a lot of sound. Well, this one's at least got the 3D effect that uh, Trevor's talking about. Right, absolutely no music to speak of. Um, graphics are... 
obviously not as colourful as other versions. Was there a, a jumping sound in it on the arcade one? I don't recall there being a jumping sound. Oh no, there was. I think it was like a whoop. I mean, it's certainly it's certainly fast enough. Yeah, just Trevor has said exactly what. Uh, like I said, Steve, I noticed you're saying it's terrible. I wouldn't say it's a ter it's not a terrible game. It's not a terrible port. I think compared to other versions, it's not as good, but it still retains the playability and look of the arcade. I don't think there's there's not been a bad version. That's my opinion, obviously, but uh, no, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. It's not as nice as the other ones. Right, okay, I think that's, uh, that's enough. Yeah, the, right, okay, this isn't going to go well. Graphics, it's black and white. I think we're going to go for, we're going to go for a five, I think, folks. Sound is, is pretty shit. It's going to be a two and a half, I think. Playability is a nine. Speed is an eight and a half, I think. Lightness to arcade, no, it's not. I think it's a six. Okay, right, we've got two to go, folks. Um, we've got the Amiga. Right, so we can actually, oh, if I hang on a second, let's have a look at the... Uh, See if we can get the sharp X68000 one to work. This can be hit or miss. Now, I don't know if it's called Bubble Bobble or if it's called something completely different. Uh, there we go, Bubble Bobble. Right. Hopefully, this will work. Uh, wait a minute, I'm going to. Uh, Start. Ah, fire button. Player one, right, let's just jump straight in. Yeah, listen, listen to that. And it even has a, uh, it even has the two, uh, two buttons. All right, it's game over. <laughs> And this is why this would be my holy grail, a Sharp X68000. The problem is, they're as rare as hen's teeth, they're stupidly expensive, and you need to be able to speak fluent Japanese to actually, uh... Oh, pick up the McDonald's chips, uh, to play the thing. Imagine just how jealous your pals would have been seeing a game like this. Oh, it's phenomenal. It's got a really, really nice sound. In fact, I would actually go as far as to say they've actually improved the sound. They've, they've kind of included extra sound effects. I keep 
thinking that's summed at the summed at the door. Right, come on, where's the water thing? Yeah. <laughs> Oof, there we go. Right, anyway, right, let's do the scores of the doors. Graphics, 10. Sound, 10. Playability, 10. Speed, a 10. Lightness to arcade, it's a 10. Yep, don't think you can argue with that. Right, the very, very last one, folks, is, I can close that down now, uh, and I can also make this, make that normal size again, um, is the Amiga one. Uh, if I can find my emulator for it. There we go. Yeah, these, uh, these, Sharp X sixty thousands. They just they simply don't come up at all. Absolutely phenomenal machine. Right, bubble, bubble. There we go. Uh, start game. I don't know why that... Uh... Evening Chris, if you want a sharp 68,000 you need to buy direct from Japan. Yeah, yeah, it's, I, I couldn't even begin to imagine, excuse me, how much customs you would get hit. I think the chances of somebody then putting it through as a gift would be pretty slim. Right, okay. Just as I thought. I'm not quite sure what you're talking about, Dale. Uh, you're talking about a warble in the ST one. that you know what I'm, <laughs> I've been playing this now for what about just when did I came on was it half past nine yeah just over an hour and I have to say I'm actually quite enjoying it <laughs> Last one, I think. 
Right, let that angry fellow come on the screen. I thought you were talking about Dell for a second there, uh, Neil. Right, what we want to do is kill them all apart from one. Oh, bollocks. This isn't good. Right, okay, we'll try and, we'll try and get, I can't remember what the name of his, what he's called again. Is it Bubba or something like that? isn't going to end well. There he is. There he is. <laughs> right, anyway, listen, that's enough of that. That's quite enough bubble bubble for tonight. So, uh, right. I'm not going to let you see the scores, but what I'm going to... Oh, but I need to review this, right. Graphics. That's quite about 10. Sound is a 10. Playability, I'm going to say 9 because I've been given all other ones are 9 apart from the sharp. Speed is going to be a 9. Lightness to Arcade, I'm going to give it a 9.5. I'm going to score it down because it doesn't have the two, uh, two fire buttons. So you're restricted to one. So here we go. Right, now what I want to do is, uh, I want to, hang on a second, I'm going to have to use my Excel skills, right, I'm going to call it total, like that, uh, machine, is that, right, what we're going to do is we're going to sort it by total, custom sort, sort by total, and it's going to be smallest to largest. There we go. Right. Stand by your beds, folks. This... Oh, shit. I don't want to let you see that. Hang on. Right. I'm going to remove that and get me back on again. Right. I'll move that over there. So I'm actually... I'll pretend I'm looking at the screen. Right. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten versions. Now, nobody give any spoilers at all. In tenth position, with a score of 31, it's the mighty Zerex Spectrum. In ninth position, I on a second, ten, I'm just going to put, <laughs> so I don't uh, make an answer that eight, six, 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 four, three, two, one, eight. Right, in ninth position, on 31 and a half, it's the Amstrad. Eighth position on 32. Now, this is out of possible 50. 32 out of 50 in eighth position is the Game Boy Color. In seventh position, with 35 out of 50, it's the Game Boy. In sixth position, uh, with 35 and a half, just pipping the Game Boy is the NES. In fourth, fifth position, is a master system that scored a uh, 39 and a half, which is a good score. In fourth position on 42 and a half, it is the Commodore 64. Third place, bronze with 46 out of 50 is Atari ST. I don't know why I'm looking up there, the camera's there. In second place with 47 and a half out of 50. It's an Amstrad, and the winner of this arcade perfect my arse is the Sharp X68000 with a superb 50 out of 50. So there you go, folks. That is it. If you want to play the definitive home version, then go for the Sharp X68000. I don't think it used emulators. I think it's probably programmed, but that's just because that was a fantastic machine. But you know what? 
there's not a bad version. I mean, even the Spectrum one, I know uh, one of the guys said it was shit. It's not shit. They're all good versions. I think if you had any of these computers back in the day and you liked Bubble Bobble and you bought that, you'd have been delighted with it. But, uh, yeah, all good versions. So, anyway, listen, I'm glad to... Uh, I'm glad. What are you talking about? What are you on about Amstrad twice? I have no idea what you're you're talking about there. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I on, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Hi, what are you on about? Did I say Amstrad? I mean Amiga. What the hell am I gibbering about? Right, there you are, lady. I'm, I'm away with it. I'm absolutely away with it. So there you go. There's... There's the scores in the doors. I'm talking shite saying that Amstrad. There you go. 10th place Spectrum, Amstrad, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, sorry, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, NES, Master System, Commodore 64, Atari ST, Commodore Amiga, and Sharp X60,000. Oh, okay, I know, it's getting late. It's time for my bed. So anyway, listen, on that bombshell, I'm going to get going. Um, listen, Thank you very much for, for tuning in tonight. It was completely unplanned um, and it's late as well. So I appreciate you guys giving up your bed, your sleep to watch this shite. So listen, anyway, guys, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Um, I will be along, as always, for the Friday Waffle on Friday. And again, I'll be on Sunday's uh, live stream will be... Um, wait a minute, I actually remembered what I was going to do and I can't remember what it was now it's not going to be Konami there was something else that I was wanting to do and I can't remember what it was but I will remember so anyway guys, listen, have a good night as always, thank you very much for watching take it easy <laughs>